Okay, so this is Transformers Generations Autobot Drift. Uh, this figure is not out in the U.S. yet as of July, what is today, the 12th? As of July 12th, this figure is not available. It will be in the U.S. later this year, around mid-August. But I managed to find him on eBay from Order of China. So that's where I uh, managed to find him. As you can see, he's these nice little uh, sports car. Pretty good looking design. I like the color scheme for the kind of orangish red and then the white and the blue headlights and windshield. Uh, I usually don't get that many Transformers, but I watched a review from a fellow reviewer on YouTube, and his name is Pion. It's P E A U G H. He's got the best Transformers reviews on YouTube. So go ahead and check out his profile and his channel. But he did a review of this guy a couple weeks ago, and I, I really, uh, really like the figure. So I thought I'd try and find him and do my own review. So uh, a little, uh, a little nod to him, a tip of the hat, if you will. But uh, this is a really great figure. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what what kind of car this is supposed to be. It's kind of a mix between a uh, Toyota Celica and a Toyota Supra. But uh, a great looking car as well. It's got some good detail. These parts right here will eventually be his knees. But as you can kind of tell, they look like mufflers. And then it's got the exhaust tips on the back. So it's nice to see that they have that kind of double detail. So to give you a little size comparison, here he is next to Deluxe Sideswipe from the Revenge of the Fallen series. And you can see they are very, very close in size. Not much of a difference there. Drift is just a little bit taller. But, uh, about the same size all around. Just a little bit longer as well. So let's go into the transformation. First of all, what you want to do is come underneath here. He's got this really nice sword, and you want to pull it out like this. Because it does actually groove in there. You can see there's these little slots. And he's got three swords on this set. This is the biggest one. And the, the thing about these swords is they're really, really flexible. And you can see just right there, if I bend it up, it kind of stays up and then straightens back. So really, really flexible. So if you, if you want to get this figure, just be aware that these bend really easy. So we're going to set that aside for a second. Transformation, what you want to do first is go ahead and pop these doors. And they take a little bit of encouragement. you got to pull these forward like so. Just kind of loosen them up because they connect. And then go ahead and try and pop the doors like that. And bend them down and away. Go ahead and pop the other one. And bend it down and away. And while you've got them right here, what you want to do is these little swords in here. Go ahead and just take those out for now. They kind of just end up getting in the way. And go ahead and straighten up the handles on them so you got this smaller sword. And I'll get into those in a little bit. But I see, I, 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 uh, they kind of tend to get in the way for me. As you can see right there, they're all kind of getting stuck. So why don't you go ahead and take those out. And we'll set those aside. And then what you want to do is on the doors, you want to fold his windshields, or the, uh, the windows in. Just like that. And on the other side, just go ahead and push them down. Like that. So they fold flat. Then go ahead and just angle the doors down like that. We'll come back to them. Then what you want to do is kind of loosen up this windshield area until it does that. And you're going to pull the legs down. And then go ahead and start separating them. And they get very stuck right there. There's a nice big groove so it locks in place very well. If I can get the camera to focus. There we go. There's that big groove right there. So don't be afraid to just pull them apart. They will... Uh, snap a piece or snap apart really uh, really easily it's designed to and what you're going to do is grab one of these legs and straighten it out like that so you see that orange piece so again on the other side grab it like this oh come on and pull it forward like that so he's got really long long legs right now then what you're going to do is you're going to take this little shoe piece that he's got right here in the front of his foot and you're going to kind of wiggle it forward 
until it butts up against that orange piece just like that. Same on the other side go ahead and pull that forward until it's like that. And there's the legs complete and what you're going to do is go ahead and pull this windshield out for a second and then this piece on the hood what you want to do is pull it apart like this go, we're going to pull it this way but it is very very secure so you just have to use a, a little bit of force to pull it apart you can see it's got all those grooves right there and there's his face as well and then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this up and over so it lines up like that you can see the difference go ahead and pull it up and over and then rotate these back and go ahead and pull these doors down a little bit now go ahead and rotate it back like that and then you're going to take this windshield and push it up into his chest there's a little notch right there you can see and a little tab on here you're going to push that up and in there until it sits in place and then what you're going to do is grab the fists that are right here and you're going to pull them down and forward and again down and forward and there he is in robot mode right like that and he doesn't really stand up all the way let's see if I can move the camera a little bit get a little better angle there we go he, his feet uh, as you can see he kind of tips like so it's kind of a task to get him to get to stand up straight let's see if I can lower this a little bit one second like that and then like that there we go that's a little bit better review you can see he just kinda he tips on these his feet don't really lay flat you kinda have to find a good point of balance for him but he does stay very well he's got these really big feet got a big surface area so if you don't mind him being a little bit of an angle that's pretty good and then what you want to do is go ahead and take these swords that we took out earlier and they're going to fit back into his doors they're going to sheath just like that very very cool function and then this big sword that we had earlier can fit either right back on his back in the exact same spot like that or of course he can hold it and he holds it very well and you can even get him to the point where both of his hands hold it at the same time he just looks a little goofy his arms but you can get him to hold it in both hands but uh... it looks a little weird so there's that guy. Very cool figure, really good detail. He's got these nice Autobot symbols here on his shoulders and a very highly detailed head. Kind of reminds me of a Gundam figure, the way he's got uh, these uh, kind of wings on his head and then these, uh, the doors that become the sheaths for the sword. But a great looking uh, figure in robot mode for sure. Just to give you a height comparison. Here he is next to Voyager Mixmaster. I'll go ahead and zoom that out a little bit. You can see he's a pretty good sized figure for just being deluxe. He's quite tall. Go ahead and turn these sideways so you can see. So a good sized figure right there. Uh, one of my favorite deluxe classes for sure. Uh, I'm a little more partial to Sideswipe just because he's my favorite, but uh, Autobot Drift, definitely my second favorite deluxe. The new Generations line is going to be out in full soon. They're going to have a couple figures from the War for Cybertron video game, as well as some uh, older older characters. So that is Transformers side or not sideswipe Transformers Generations Autobot Drift like I said he's not out right now in the US but he will be in August so this is an early look at him uh, probably won't be doing too many more Transformers reviews I really just wanted to get this guy 
and uh, show you what I thought of him. Great, great figure. Uh, should only be retailing for about 14 to 16 dollars in the US. Not very expensive at all. So if you have any liking for Transformers, I uh, definitely recommend picking up this guy. So there is that. Uh, as far as future reviews go, I'm going to be getting uh, a lot of the new sets for LEGO Star Wars, including the AT-AT, the Slave One, the Turbo Tank, and the Ultimate Collector's Shuttle. So look for all those reviews coming out, and thank you for watching.